Meanwhile, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is attending the G20 summit. This is, of course, the second day of the summit in Rome, which happens to be the world's biggest summit in the post-pandemic era so far. The summit will also help global leaders agree on a roadmap for a sustainable, green and also a speedy recovery from the economic crisis that has been brought about because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Sunday's sessions will focus on climate change and environment. Prime Minister Modi is currently in Rome at the invitation of his Italian counterpart, Mario Draghi. And he'll conclude his two-day trip to the nation. And next, he'll, of course, be heading to Scotland, Glasgow, to attend the COP26 summit, which begins by tomorrow. Prime Minister Modi attended the first session of the summit on Saturday, where he discussed the global economy and also health, along with a host of world leaders. Now, taking to his official Twitter handle, the Prime Minister said that the proceedings of the first day were pretty extensive and also very fruitful and productive. Amongst the topics that were highlighted by Prime Minister Modi at the G20 summit were India's contribution in the global fight against COVID-19, the vision for One Earth, One Health program, furthering innovation in healthcare and also leveraging technology for human empowerment. On Saturday, India's Prime Minister met with his Singaporean counterpart, Lee Hsien Loong, on the sidelines of the G20 summit. The leaders discussed ways to further scale up the friendship between India and Singapore. Their talks also focused on trade, culture and other issues as well. And earlier in the day, the Prime Minister, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, had also met with Pope Francis and he invited the Pope to come and visit India. Now, according to the sources, the meeting between the Indian Prime Minister and the Pope was initially scheduled for just about 20 minutes. The meeting was very warm and cordial, but instead of 20 minutes that was originally scheduled, the meeting shot off and it went on for as long as about an hour, where the two leaders, in a very cordial manner, discussed a whole host of many different issues in terms of what their vision is for planet Earth. They also discussed about issues such as recovery post the pandemic. They also spoke about the issue of poverty and how to overcome the challenges of hunger that are still prevalent in some parts of the world. Thank you very much for your visit. I'm happy. It's an honor for me. very happy. And I would like to see you in India. Yes. In my court, honor to receive you there. Yes. Thank you very much. And pray for me, don't forget. Yes. Your prayers are always giving me strength. The Prime Minister Modi also held his very first face-to-face -face meeting with the French President Emmanuel Macron. It was the very first meeting between the two leaders after the AUKUS controversy. Nearly a month ago, Prime Minister Modi and Macron had held a telephonic conversation where the two had discussed the Indo-Pacific and also their bilateral ties. Now, Prime Minister Modi's visit comes at a time when the world is, of course, looking towards India to set an example in sustainable and speedy pandemic recovery. Now, according to the IMF, India will, of course, remain one of the fastest growing economies in the post-pandemic world. Now, according to IMF's latest projections, India's economy, which contracted by about 7.3% due to the COVID-19 pandemic, is expected to grow by a staggering 9.5% in the forthcoming fiscal year. And Vyond Siddhant Sibyl has been in Rome and he's been tracking all the developments that are unfolding at the G20 summit and he's sent us this report. Take a look. Well, today is the last day of the G20 summit here in Rome. The Indian Prime Minister has a hectic schedule. Of course, uh, he starts the day by visiting the Trevi Fountain. Uh, he will be participating in two sessions of the G20, one on environment, another on sustainable development. Uh, he also participates in uh, the U.S. President Joe Biden's event on supply chain resilience. Uh, also, uh, two important meetings, one with the Spanish Prime Minister, another with uh, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Now, this meeting with the German Chancellor Angela Merkel will be a parting meet of sorts given the fact that she is the outgoing Chancellor of 
Germany and seen as literally the face of Europe for last 15 years. She has been the Chancellor since 2005 and um, the, 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 the Chancellor's role in Europe is something that has been lauded by other European leaders as well. But by and large, uh, uh, the three-day visit of the Indian Prime Minister comes to an end today and thereafter he leaves for Glasgow uh, for the climate meeting. But uh, three days of a lot of diplomatic activities, a lot of engagements, call on to the Pope, uh, meeting with the French President Macron. And we have seen a uh, lot of visuals from the G20, a lot of pictures from G20 of uh, the comfortable moment, the, uh, the warmth uh, the other world leaders gave to the Indian Prime Minister and of course YC Versa as well. With video journalist Sajid Siddhan Sibbal for Vion in Rome, Italy. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.